With the rise of social media, there is not a single tragedy that goes unwasted. Every time there is another mass shooting, it becomes the hit new thing to make some public act of bucking it to the gun lobby in exchange for 15 minutes of fame. Just type, man turns in AR-15 into Google and look at the oh my god viral video list that pops up. We had this guy from Phoenix who handed his guns into police in October, but made sure to stop for a photo op so he could post it on Facebook. He handed over a handgun in a Ruger 1022, which he called a big old machine gun. Which suggests that he was never actually a real gun owner at all. We also had this guy in California last November. It makes me feel like I've been a small man to think I needed one of these. Ben Dickman in Florida also turned in a rifle because, quote, only law enforcement should have rifles. He also posted about it on Facebook and got an NBC feature. A woman talked about destroying her guns on CNN, and another guy supposedly sawed his AR-15 in half so it would never be able to take a life. But all of that is child's play compared to Karen Mallard, a Virginia teacher running for Congress who, in a very misguided publicity stunt, created her very own illegal short barrel rifle and is now throwing a tantrum because people are suggesting that the government enforce the law. You see, when you talk about gun laws being enforced on your everyday law-abiding citizens, you're a lefty hero. When you suggest those same laws be enforced on congressional candidates, you're a right-wing troll. Heads up, Karen. If you're looking for votes, you probably shouldn't film yourself committing a felony on Facebook. I'm Karen Mallard. I grew up in Wise County. Surrounded by guns, our family had guns my whole life. A while back, my husband bought this AR-15. I wasn't happy about it, and after last week, I told him I wanted this gun out of my house. So today, we're going to destroy it. This teacher and mother is joining Moms Demand Action, and as your future Congresswoman, I'll make comp comprehensive gun reform a top priority. All Miss Mallard really did was shorten the barrel of an AR-15 under the premise of destroying the firearm. You know, Karen, that's just not how this works. She completely denies breaking the law and instead complains that anyone claiming she broke the law is only part of a, quote, coordinated effort by right-wing trolls using error-filled NRA talking points in order to destroy her campaign and distract people from reasonable debate. You know, that's funny, because as I recall, federal law actually regulates all rifles with barrels less than 16 inches and all rifles that are modified to have barrels under 16 inches or an overall length under 26 inches. All short-barreled rifles are illegal unless properly registered with the ATF and it's just as illegal to make your own without following the regulations and filing an application with the ATF. Unfortunately for Karen, the ATF won't approve an application if short-barreled rifles are also illegal under state law, and Virginia also regulates short-barreled rifles. In fact, under Virginia state law, creating or owning a sawed-off rifle, as they call it, is a class 4 felony that carries a 2-10 to 10 year prison sentence that just might interfere with her time in office. And the thing is, it is obvious that she is reading off of some kind of teleprompter or cue cards. She's also set up with all the proper safety equipment, so this was obviously something that was planned and constructed, so she could have easily taken the time to research the law. Instead, she's promoting more gun laws by breaking the law. But thanks to folks like Donut Operator, Local News has confirmed that Karen Mallard is, in fact, being investigated by the ATF. Because, you know, the ATF regularly investigates things that are only error-filled NRA talking points. 
Despite the legal violations only being NRA talking points, the video was temporarily removed. Karen later reposted it, saying she had complied with the law by bringing the illegal gun to the police. She also says on Twitter that she had rendered the rifle inoperable, but from the tweet, it sounds like she thought that cutting the barrel was the thing that rendered it inoperable? But she gave local news a different story and told them that the rifle was inoperable before the stunt. But if that's the case, why not show that too? Wouldn't that make just as much of an impact? She says that it wouldn't have helped her message, but really that sounds a lot more like an excuse. From the looks of the video, it's unlikely that she followed the ATF guidelines requiring torch cuts at at least three locations to remove a minimum of a quarter inch of material. Though, to be fair, finding this information does require a bit of googling, or at least contacting the ATF, and that's a lot of work. It's way easier to just wing it. Either way, her video demonstrates that she's campaigning on a platform of changing laws that she knows nothing about. And while some leftists are on board with Karen, still others are questioning why she even had an assault rifle to begin with, and if that means that she has other, bigger, and even scarier guns that she's hiding. And the beauty of this situation is, if the gun control Mallard is promoting is actually enforced, she will be convicted of a felony for creating or possessing an illegal short-barreled rifle, which would then bar her from owning any firearms at all. Normally, I would give two shits about the length of a barrel, but you have to admit, this situation is pretty sweet. It certainly will be interesting to see if she is actually charged, because if any other run-of-the-mill citizen did this, the ATF probably already would have raided their house, taken all their guns, and maybe shot the family dog. That is your Second Amendment and firearm news for the week. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you really like my videos and want to help support my channel, you can support me over on Patreon or through a one-time donation through PayPal or Bitcoin. Until next time, stay safe and happy shooting.